to Queen Essie's Diary of a Hairy Woman where I talk about my experience as a hairy woman. <laughs> so obviously we all remember that I've been a body hair activist since 2019 and as a person I'm growing, learning about myself, learning about my own body as well and my body hair and so far we talked about you know confidence, how to build your confidence um, and we talked about just like, you know, body hair and if it's gross, you know, uh, because of society, because that's what society told us, right? And we, well, we also talked about, you know, my body hair journey. Um, and today we will be talking about the topic, the most popular topic that everyone wants to know about. Dating. Yay! <laughs> dating. So obviously... Um, I will be really talking about um, things that I feel uh, women should know as a hairy woman. So I'll be sharing my experiences on dating apps and just like how life has been because I'm not like super in the dating world but yes I do go on dates and everything but I, if I'm being completely honest I just find it very distracting because <laughs> I'm really trying to focus on my art career and like dating uh, can be very distracting for me and so I don't often am I'm not often sorry in the dating game but I've had a bit more experience these days uh, with you know talking to guys on dating apps and going on dates and um, yeah because I, I of course I need to tell y'all how it is right I need to tell you guys this because it's very important, especially if you're concerned uh, if body hair will be, you know, an obstacle, uh, you know, prevent you from finding love. Um, but let's really get into it deep. I'm the person who's completely honest. You know me if you watch my other videos. I'm not going to hide anything. Uh, well, you know. Well, we're not best friends yet, but <laughs> um, but I'm going to tell you exactly how kind of like talking about my perspective and what I've done, um, you know. Anyways, sorry, talking too much now. Let's really get into it. So if I really start from, you know, before I uh, became a body hair activist, um, yeah, I used to use a lot of dating apps. And um, one of my things when I was still hiding my chest hair and it was still the, the big secret that I was keeping from everyone and all the men. <laughs> and so um, there always came a time where when I felt like um, the relationship was getting a bit, uh, you know, crossed, was almost going to cross the level of friendship in the sense that the person might might have like let me know that they have feelings for me. Um, and, and there was this one guy uh, who really liked me. That was like back in college. Um, and I wasn't necessarily interested in him. And a lot of the things that I used to do, and you know, I'm not ashamed, but it's something I used to do, is, you know, he told me he liked me. And then I would basically share the secret, the secret that I have chest hair with the guy in order for him to not like me or to see his, you know, expression, to see um, his reaction. And oftentimes, you know, when I showed that guy who really liked me um, that I had chest hair, he was not turned off by it and he was like, you know, I don't care. And that's what often happens uh, when you get to know somebody and you actually, uh, you know, you've you get to really like their personality, learn about them, and you kind of start actually liking them, that these little things that for you are insecurities will not bother um, the person. Obviously, it's very, it's very, um, it depends on who they are. I can't tell you how you would know, but um, if you know that the person's superficial, obviously, they're not going to be the one that you're going to tell, hey, look, I have chest hair, you know what I mean? Um, but um, for me, it's, I've always been into like men that are down to earth. And um, so, yeah. And so for me, <laughs> I used to use this chest hair thing that I have uh, like to, to kind of push away men, to kind of scare them away, which did not work. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, 
Next. Okay, so when I, you know, when I was using dating apps, of course, I was getting matches. And so, I don't know why I said of course. I just mean like, yes, that's what happens when you're using dating apps. You get matches. Okay. Uh, but um, when I... <clears throat> Sorry, I got something in my throat. I'm just going to take a water break. So, yeah. So, basically... Um, when I decided to stop shaving, um, I, I was seeing I was seeing someone um, just before that. I was seeing someone. It wasn't completely. It was like not a serious serious relationship, but we get, were getting to know each other. And so this this guy, he uh, had seen me. You know, when I was you know still shaving and all that, and we got to know each other. And when I first revealed it to him so that's before I became a body hair activist you know I was still because like the thing about my my chest hair is that I wasn't removing it anymore I was removing part of it because I because my my chest hair had grown a lot and if I was wearing a crop top and things like that we kind of would see it and so I would just remove like above the line of the crop top basically and so when I realized that the guy was kind of into me I told him which I always did, <laughs> I was like, you know what, I just got to tell you something, you know what, I got chest hair, and I showed him, and he really didn't care, he was like, yeah, so what, I got chest hair too, you know, he thought it was just funny and whatever, he really did not care at all, and we were still kind of seeing each other um, when I became a body hair activist in 2019, and, and when I really stopped like shaving I was not shaving my legs and everything and he did not look at me differently he did not judge my leg hair he was not like that he was he was mature and I tend to like be into guys that are slightly older than me when I mean older I don't mean like 20 years but like he was like I think three years older than me yeah but I don't think that has anything to do with just some people are more mature than others you know but um yeah so so he wasn't disgusted by it and and, and yeah he wasn't at all and so I guess I, I was a bit lucky with uh, I guess the men uh, in, in my life the, the ones that I you know revealed my secret to um, so yeah um, but yeah also like um, the thing about bars so let's just take a little break and talk about really what happened when I became a body hair activist, okay? Um, a lot of women, a lot of people don't know that there's a whole community of men that fetishize hairy women. Yes, there's a whole community of men who are going to be, you know, once you kind of own own your body hair, you own, you embrace your body, there are men who will message you um, or people who message you and say vulgar things or, you know, sexual vulgar things, or just be like, I'm in love with you, your body hair, so, and they say all sorts of stuff, because, like, at the end of the day, people will objectify, men will objectify you whether you have no body hair or you have body hair, and there's a community out there that will fetishize, you know, your body hair. Um, I'm not into men that do that, personally. Uh, when I was on a dating app, I had matched with this guy who... Yeah, I had matched with him while I was still, you know, shaving at the time. Months passed, I became a body hair activist, I was posting uh, my pictures, and um, Snapchat and everything, showing, you know, what I do. And he basically was like, he let me know, he basically messaged me and he was like, oh my gosh, like, I love chest hair, like, I love women with chest hair. And I was like, at first I didn't know that whole community existed, I was just slightly introduced to it. It was the beginnings and I just, in a way, when you are so afraid of your body and your body hair and you start slowly embracing it and you have this little little thought in the back of your head like as if you can't find anyone that will love you you start thinking that this is like anyways you start thinking that how do i say this basically you feel flattered you start feeling flattered like oh my gosh this person loves my chest hair oh my gosh but at the end of the day, he's actually objectifying you, okay? That's just how I see it, okay? Maybe you don't see it that way, but he is. And he was, how do I, how did I know this? Okay, someone could literally like your body hair. could be like, oh my gosh, I think it makes you way more beautiful. And I've heard this before, right? It makes you way more beautiful, exactly, etc. cetera, sorry. But this person was very sexual about it. Like, he was like, you know, 
I don't want to go into the details here, but he was basically trying to make me come to his house so he could, you know, do the do. Um, and because, just because I was hairy and he wanted me to send him videos. Yeah, so basically he was trying to invite me uh, over so we could do the do. And he was just saying a bunch of sexual things. He wanted me to send him videos of my body hair. And I've had men do that. And at first you think you're, you think it's flattery. You think, oh my gosh, I finally have... I feel you feel approved at first you feel like oh my gosh validated oh my gosh there's men that think it's hot and but then you start really growing and maturing and understanding that you need to value yourself and you kind of realize that this is this is gross <laughs> I am not an object and I want someone to love me for me and basically I'm telling you guys this because I think it's really important for me to share the process that was going on in my brain as I was growing and maturing and understanding that I needed to value myself and value really had to go beyond wanting validation and as women as people we always want to be validated it's a sickness that we have you know and and, and it's sometimes you finally and it's a great feeling when you finally realize that you don't need other people's validations and you need to validate yourself and as I always say redefine beauty for yourself and you just gotta wake up and, and, and that takes time and maturity, um, but it, it, it's something that you will have to do yourself. But for me, I had to step back and realize that I don't like that. I don't like that kind of attention. I want someone to get to know me. Um, and that's what would happen before I was uh, shaving. Uh, when I was shaving, sorry. I got to know the person, they got to know me, and that's when I revealed that secret. But now things are a bit different because I am, I own, I own myself, I own my identity, I, I embrace my body and so when I post on Instagram, someone who will see my content will, like they will see what kind of woman I am and if they're interested and if they're not interested then, you know, it depends if they'll shoot their shot or not, you know what I mean? Today it's completely different. Um, I don't need to hide, I'm not hiding that anymore and so it's just like take it or leave it, right? So like the guy that I was with, um, um, on and off, who saw me uh, when I was shaving and when I stopped shaving, um, he really didn't even see me any differently. And I thought, I, if I'm completely honest, I was shocked because I didn't see it in his eyes that he felt disgust. I didn't. He still looked at me with, you know, I guess love in his eyes, and he still thought I was beautiful. And I was shocked because I was like, I've never experienced that, you know, because when you're so insecure about certain parts of you, you don't you don't like and you you learn to like it but you're not sure if someone will like it even though you know it exists but you just are so in your head that you can't even imagine that someone would just love you for you and just be like yeah your body hair is part of you and i love it too you know and so yeah um yeah anyways <laughs> after that like we're not together anymore and whatever um but um anyways outside yeah, so um, something that I really need to get, you know, to really say, because it's very, very, very important. As a woman who shaves and as a woman who doesn't shave, your life doesn't change. And what I mean your life doesn't change, yes, you will love yourself, you learn to love yourself, etc, etc. What I mean is that things don't become magical. In a sense that women, if men were mean back then, if they were treating you like badly or you found some jerks you found some nice guys it's gonna be the same when you go in that side it's gonna be the same when you embrace yourself you're gonna find some guys that you know that may like you but they not they may not fit like they may not fit with you and your personality and not have the same values it's like i could be here finding someone who doesn't care have body hair and thinks it's cute or whatever and is so kind we could get to know each other but at the end of the day we don't have the same values so you know what i mean so it's still gonna be the same thing it's still the dating world it's the same thing it's not all of a sudden that you know <laughs> it's it's just i think that sometimes we think that because we crossed over or something or because now we embraced ourselves that um if we find a man, we gotta hold on to him because we don't know if anyone else is gonna love us. And that's not true. It's not true. There are a lot of men who don't care about body hair or think it's beautiful and who wants to, to love you for you and wants to get to know you. So do not hold on to the first person that tells you they love you. 
well, at first, like when you decide to embrace your body, do not do that. You are still a human being. They're still a human being. You got to know them. You got to learn to know them, to, you know, get to know them. And so don't think that there won't be anyone else who will be interested in you. Do not think that. That's not true. That's not true. Another thing that I want to say is that a lot of men, we, you know, we might, you might already know this, but a lot of men date to, um, they date to impress their homeboys, you know, to impress their friends. So they might be interested in you, but they won't want to reveal it publicly. They won't want to follow you. So they'll DM you, oh, I'm interested in you. And I'm not with that. That's insecure. I don't need an insecure man, okay? I want a secure, I want a man who is willing to walk with me in the street and not be afraid and not be embarrassed. I don't need a man who's hiding behind his phone or is going to meet me secretly. I don't need that in my life. So as soon as a man like that kind of follows me or like, uh, not follows me, but like DMs me, I'm like, I don't even answer because I'm like, why? You're so afraid to follow me. You're so afraid to even post me because I know that guy is not even going to be willing to post a picture of me because he'll be afraid that his friends would judge him or everyone else would judge him. Like, you like a girl with body hair? Ew, you know, something like that. And so a lot of men are not secure in their own identity and their own preferences and, and what they like. I'm just saying there's a lot of men like that, but there are also many who are secure in their identity and, and what they prefer. So yeah, so recently I was seeing someone and they also didn't care about my body hair. So basically, that's when I became a body hair activist and I was like literally what I... Last year I met them in person and we kind of like were seeing each other until a few months ago. And so yeah, they, they were very kind and I told them because we first saw each other on Instagram. We started following each other there and... Um, he basically was like, you know, because I was like, oh my gosh, he's interested in me, but I want to make sure that he knows what he would get, be getting into, you know what I mean? And so I'm like, Do you know that I have body hair, right? You, you you think it's okay? You're not bothered by that? He's like, no, not at all. I think it makes you even more beautiful. And I said, oh, okay, that's that's great. That's, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I feel safe because I don't want him to freak out <laughs> if he sees how hairy I am because I don't, I don't shave, right? And so, um, so yeah, so... He really didn't care and he was fully comfortable with me. He thought that I had a great personality, he felt that I was brave <laughs> or something. Um, but yeah, but now we're not seeing each other anymore. I, whew, we mutually went our separate ways. Um, I really had to focus on <laughs> my art. I'm sorry, I just can't do dating and career right now. I just can't. Um, I just got out of school and I'm just really trying to focus on that. Um, but yeah, um, we had a few differences as well. So that's what I'm saying basically that um, it's not because it's not because all of a sudden you're a hairy girl and you own your body hair. You don't care about what anybody thinks that um, every guy that's going to come your way is going to be the right one. That's what I'm saying. Um, another thing about dating apps, if I'm being completely honest, because I like to be completely honest, is that... Um, there will be less matches. Yes, there will be less matches. Okay, just like women, men are also conditioned to believe and have been programmed to believe that body hair is gross on women and it's okay on men. So they will be disgusted. They will say all types of stuff, okay? And they will not match with you. Um, a lot of the times, even if they're into that, they will probably not match with you. And you just won't know. Um, but also... Um, yeah, you might not get matches. So for me, I feel like it's way easier to meet people in person. If you're a hairy girl like myself, it's better to meet people in person uh, because they will get a sense of your energy, especially because sometimes we, we see people on apps and we don't get all that from them, especially just from looking at images and just in person. They're bubbly, they have so much personality and that really what's what kind of like brings you to them in a sense that makes you really like them and you don't always get that through people's pictures you might swipe at the wall you might you might swipe you know left uh to the you know to a guy that's like the right one for you but because you thought his pictures weren't that nice you you just swiped and you missed that opportunity right and so it's basically the same thing so when people are going to see your images they'll be like oh gross and have the idea of what a feminist is the negative idea of what a feminist is and it, Right, right away would do X, 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 never, 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 or just be mean. They'll match and then they'll say something mean. There are, there are people like that, okay? Just gotta, 
understand that people are mean they'll always will be whether you don't even have body hair they'll always have something to say about you it just is what it is and they're always projecting their own insecurities onto you because they don't feel comfortable with their own body maybe because I i've had men even say like message me telling me that um Oh my gosh, you have more chest hair than me. Because there are men out here who are insecure about the fact that you may have more body hair than them. And I've actually met a guy like that. And I thought he was cute. You know, we we're getting along. And he knew I was a body hair activist. And he's like, yeah, I don't want to be with a girl who's hairier than me. So what? That she's hairier than you. I don't see the issue, right? It's like, okay, she's hairier. Or she has more hair on her head than you. It, it shouldn't even be a problem. But there's some men that are insecure about that. And so yeah so yeah 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 <laughs> um but yeah to continue on that um there uh so i feel like you, it's way better to meet people in person when you're a hairy woman like myself i don't i'm not saying that you won't meet anyone on those apps because i have i've had matched with uh guys who really thought it was cute or really didn't mind that i was hairy and thought i was beautiful etc etc i thought it was beautiful so you'll still you could still get matches but i feel like you won't like i didn't get as many as i used to when i was you know hairless um but um but yeah so for me it's always better to like meet people in person obviously right now we're you know the pandemic and everything oh you can't meet as much as many people as you would like but um yeah it's it's way better it's way better uh, to meet new people in person that way you can really show your personality and really get to know people also don't always wait for someone to make the first move as well just letting you know don't always wait for that um you could hit up the person and it's okay to get rejected just don't take it personally i've gotten rejected before as a body hair because i went in someone's dm so i was like oh you're cute you know and he did not you know he responded but you know he wasn't into me and that's totally fine you know because sometimes you know guys could go in your dms and you won't be interested in them or someone could go in your dms and you won't be interested in them interested in them and so it's completely normal rejection is completely normal but sometimes people will accept the request and uh, give the energy back you know <laughs> um but yeah um i'm someone who also prefers meeting people in person i used to be on a lot of apps at the time um but uh yeah <laughs> but yeah that's basically what i want to say about uh dating and basically the most important thing you gotta keep in mind you have to fully embrace yourself and be confident in who you are and in your body and in your appearance if you are not at that level don't jump into that kind of relationship where you're talking about how you're insecure about your body hair. Don't do that. You don't need to put anyone through that. I've, I've noticed how some men, they just love confident women. I'm not saying they don't love confident women that are not confident and not willing to work with you. I'm not saying that, but a lot of men really like that. And if you're not afraid of your body hair and how you look, why would he be afraid to walk with you? Because you're a confident woman who doesn't care what anybody thinks. You hold strength. And so that's something really important. To me, that's what I realized. I, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm surprised that this guy's into me. But I'm not afraid to show my body hair. And he sees that through my images. And he sees that through my personality. That I'm not afraid to, like, I'm not hiding it. I'm not afraid. So he sees that that's part of who I am. That's part of my identity. And I own it. Therefore, he must accept me fully or not at all. So yeah, so um, it's very important to fully be able to embrace yourself and to be at that level. If you want to get in the dating game while you're hairy, um, yeah, that's very important. But like I said back then when I was hairy and I was in the dating game, um, and I, I, I really basically, what my trick was to get to know someone and, you know, then reveal that secret. But obviously, <laughs> I wasn't... Okay, <clears throat> so basically, I often say this and... It's something that I think about. Oftentimes, um, men, people, I've had someone write that once, a man who said that, who basically said, yeah, she won't get a man. She won't get the men that she wants. And oftentimes, it's just like, you gotta know, <laughs> like, it, it's, I'm not looking for a Michael B. Jordan, you know what I mean? But if I wanted to, I think I could land one. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's just like, you don't need like you know you need to understand your value and you need to be confident and know what you want point blank and it's so very sad to assume that someone who's hairy can't find someone you really can 
you really can i promise you i've had men who have messaged me and let me know that their girlfriend was hairy or their ex-girlfriend was hairy and they, they didn't mind and a lot of men don't mind not every man is weak-minded i promise you but you gotta be strong and obviously it really depends where you live at right because like i've had messages from people i think in france that say like you know others could make some commentary about your body hair while i'm in canada and people just stare right no one's gonna be like hey my gosh you're hairy like unless they're like crazy right but in general people just look so obviously it depends what part like of the world you're from and how i mean you know how your city is i don't know so but obviously maybe keeping it a secret and revealing to someone maybe it might be dangerous i don't know you know i don't know how the guy will react I, to me it's about i have to trust the person i have to feel comfortable with the person that's when i, I decided hey i have chest hair that's how it was for me but now that i've accepted it it's like they already know and it's like you either like it or not like but if you don't why are you why are you talking to me <laughs> um but yeah basically that's that and so i promise you you will not have difficulty finding love um the dating game stays the same when you decide to accept your body hair it doesn't change it doesn't change and you need to want to be with someone who's gonna accept you as you are because bodies change they do if you're willing to accept that he's gonna lose all his hair and is gonna be balding one day he should be able to accept your natural body and so you're probably wondering is dating hard now that you're a hairy woman if you and you decided to embrace yourself not necessarily so of course it can be hard if you now feel like you don't have as many options and which is totally normal and you should feel you shouldn't feel down about it because at the end of the day you don't want to be with a man who doesn't love you for you and if the options get a little smaller doesn't mean all, uh, all of a sudden it's just two people like there's a bunch of people in those that option section right so obviously the the options well options basically you'll have an option of men that don't mind your body hair and that's super super important you don't want to have everyone being into you it becomes harder to find the right one and so i mean i'm saying this on my opinion my this is my opinion <laughs> but yeah so um yeah now that you embrace yourself uh you know michael b jordan might not be into you and that's fine you shouldn't want a guy who's shallow and you shouldn't want someone who's afraid to like what they like as well and so when i say michael b jordan i'm just it's just an example okay it's just an example michael b jordan is with someone okay we all know he's in a relationship okay <laughs> but i'm just saying um it's just an example like um but yeah you have to love yourself first don't forget to do that work on yourself be confident no matter what people will always they'll always be haters but haters are afraid of confident people so be yourself be yourself when i was dating men that didn't mind i had body hair they used to <laughs> play with my body hair like just like, pull on it feel it you know they're not gonna be afraid to touch you they're not gonna be afraid to touch your body they're not gonna be afraid to pet your leg hair and say they're not gonna be afraid this is what happens so i'm telling you i'm letting you know they're not gonna be afraid they're gonna see it and then yeah it's part of you and they'll be like hey or you know <laughs> okay but anyways I'm not gonna you're gonna feel so comfortable with the right person and in general like men who aren't afraid of body hair they're not afraid of body hair they will show you they're not afraid of your body hair anyways <laughs> so if you have any more questions feel free to dm me send me all your questions so i can make more videos and answering and answer all your questions basically and i love doing that so <laughs> find me on instagram facebook i'm literally everywhere just write queen sc or you know i'm there i'm there i'm here to answer them step by step i will give you as much details as i can give you from my personal experience okay so thank you for listening to me talk about dating the dating world as a hairy woman but anyways um have a wonderful day and see you soon <laughs>